everybody. We are coming to you from the Charlotte County Archives and Old Jail. I just, I had to look down because I wanted to make sure that I got this right, the proper name. But we are in St. Andrews at the Old Jail. So excited to be here. Um, we've just kind of slowly starting our investigation. Hopefully our K2 is going still because it has been super active ever since we got here. So we have Kate behind on the camera. Michelle. Mark. And we have some friends over there. We have Adrian, Lisa, and Sylvain. <laughs> and we are so excited to be here. This jail was built in 1832. And I know a lot of us here in New Brunswick and worldwide actually have heard about how haunted this jail is. So we are really, really looking forward and inviting the spirits to come and talk to us tonight. This is kind of a bit of a part two for us with Sergeant Thomas Hutchins. Um, for those of you that watched, I think it was our very first video that we put up on YouTube and we were out at, out in Utopia where they used to do their training. And we came across a British fellow by the name of Tom. And he was warning us actually that it wasn't safe there. Afterwards, I think it was a couple of months or maybe more, all of a sudden it really dawned on us that it was Thomas Hutchins. And Thomas, he was from the United Kingdom. He was over here with the RAF and he was doing some training to go overseas to war. But while he was here, he went to a dance and he was accused of killing Bernice Connors. And Thomas spent time in here. And he, <laughs> they're talking to us. And he wasn't, he wasn't put to death here, but he was put to death here in this town. So um, yeah, we're really excited to talk to Thomas. I've actually spent quite a bit of time at his grave site and just sort of getting to know him a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to hear some more from him. I mean, there are stories of people that have been picked up by spirits in here. And there's a noose here. The gallows are still here as well. So... Right there. Right there. Oh, oh, noose is here. It's pretty interesting. This is a cup that was found tucked away, one of the prisoners had tucked it up inside the cell, um, and it was found by one of the staff here and is now on display, and that's from the 1800s. Yeah, really old. We want to take you into one of the cells. Mark, maybe if you could go ahead with the light and then we'll go on in. Yeah. It's a tight squeeze in through here. outside and you can see the courthouse wow that's pretty tough staying in a little tiny room like and this and then later on they put bars in each of these little windows because people were escaping how did you escape through that well they didn't really oh okay they, just in case yeah the jailhouse guy said that they escaped so he wouldn't get in shit Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think he felt sorry for the three boys and let them go. Oh, wow. So we're going to go back out. We're going to talk to the spirit box for a few minutes and see the gallows because they're right here. This is the actual one with the Thomas and Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Thomas was hanged on these gallows. But actually, really, it makes me nauseous. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, makes me nauseous. Yeah, you know, imagine them being here in the winter time and so cold. Freezing that. Yeah, so cold. Whoa, look at the K2. Yeah. Such a feeling of despair here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very heavy energy. Yeah. So who's here with us? Who would like to talk? James Edward has come through. 
James Edward? James, no, and, and, and Edward. Oh, okay. James, are you here with us? And who was the first one? Douglas. Yeah. Look at that. <coughs> that cake too hasn't stopped since we came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were just sitting at a table talking and it was going crazy. Yeah, the energy is very dense and heavy in here. You can feel it in your ears. I feel the pressure behind my eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just felt like on my shoulders, like oppression. Mm -hmm. Who's touching the light? <laughs> well, at least I got a book in here and hang their knickers. So they got the K2 going. Will someone come and talk to us, please? You were talkative earlier. My name's Kathy. Can you back away from the light for a minute? Let me just move it now. Hello, it's me. Who's me? <laughs> That's insane. Wow. Who is touching our light? And that, that picks up uh, electric energy, right? It does, but there's nothing right here. Yeah, there'd be nothing on those walls either. Yeah. No, it's all solid granite. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Who's doing that? Talk to us, please. You weren't doing it earlier. Douglas was the first name. Oh, there we go. Is it you, Douglas? There's charcoal. There's a charcoal over here. Yeah, there's charcoal on the entrance, too. Yeah. Is that what they used to say, warm? Probably back in the day. <coughs> or cold. It's crazy to think how much space the hallway gets compared to the cell. Like, oh, I heard there. Mark's name. So did I. <laughs> what do you have to say to Mark? Mark something. Say that again. <laughs> That's not a female. Last one. After getting a few, a couple of females. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there was a couple of people. There was uh, Sarah in here. Sarah had committed a murder. murder yeah. Are you here, Sarah? Yep. Her story, actually, as I'm standing here, it is, on is right wall. here on the wall. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you read it there, Lisa? Sarah Oliver, a servant from Ireland, was 19 when she married 51-year-old John Wallace in 1854. They set up a shoemaking business in St. George and had three children. Sarah began a relationship with a blacksmith, Old Man Mooney, that ended when she struck him in the head and died. She was arrested, accused of murder, and jailed. However, she was released after four months when it was discovered he died of apoplexy? I'm not quite sure what that is. We got a nurse here. Stop. Say that again. Apoplexy. By now, she was pregnant by James Mark, a fellow inmate. They returned to St. George to live with an aging and disabled John Wallace, whose business was failing. When James died in 1873 and John Two years later, the townspeople already strongly prejudice against Sarah. Sorry, my French is coming in. <laughs> against Sarah saw her as a murderer. She married again to Will Cooper, a sailor, to escape the precarious gossip. They moved to Penfield with her five children. After two more children, and with a survive, survival of continuing problem, Will died in 1881, followed by Sarah in 1897 at the age of 61. Fair rough life. Hmm. She 
There's a bit of a call, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that the inmates were allowed to procreate. Snuggle up. To yeah. Snuggle up with each other in jail. Huh. Hmm. Well, if they were jail in a jail cell, well, it's bound so, to happen. <laughs> like, seriously, this is going insane. Oh. <laughs> We're getting a lot of stuff. I have no electronics on me, just so everybody knows. So we I have never getting, seen the K2 do that. Ever. I know. We are getting so much here tonight. So stay tuned. We're going to do another live. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> We're going to do another live. We are actually, as well, we are going to put one person in each of these cells. And we're going to see what we get. That yeah, I think fun. that they're game for that. So... I'm really kind of hoping for a little bit of scary in here tonight. Um, Just don't smack me upside the head. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're going to come live again. And then, of course, we're going to be able to have lots to share with you all when, when we put our video together. So thanks. Stay tuned. So we ask the spirits that are here with us to come forward, really show yourself to us. We're so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, we asked our friend Sergeant Thomas Hutchins to be here with us. Hutchinson? Hutchins. Hutchins, sorry. Sergeant Thomas Hutchins to be here with us. And anyone else that wants to come forward, you are allowed to touch us. You're even allowed to scare us to a certain degree, okay guys? So Michelle's going to talk to you. Please, nice, loud, clear answers. You've been lighting up our K2 all night. If you want to come back and touch the lights, we'd really appreciate it. Um, actually, when it all got quiet here, you stopped touching the lights. Why don't you come on back and see if you can light it up for us again. We'd really, really appreciate it. I don't need you back. That's a what? That's a British accent. Yeah. Who are you? Can you tell us who you are? We know that there are a lot of you here. It's Sarah. Sarah, are you here with us? Can you touch our light if you're here? Or talk to us? You were accused of murder twice. John, are you here? Do you mind us being here? Do we have a voice recorder? I was just thinking that it's over there. Give it out. Okay. Thomas? What? <laughs> what? Are you Thomas Dowd? Or Thomas Hutchings. Oh. Dowd. Dowd. Thomas Dowd, you were hanged here. Was it Eliza Ward? Was that Sleeps here. Sleeps here. Thomas Dowd, you were here. You died right outside the door. Is that you? Say that again. History. Do you want us to know your history? Your story? Did you murder Thomas Ward? What's your name? K2. 
Could you give us your name? That's perfect. A Noah guy. A Noah guy? No. He was uh -oh. seen. Oh, Super okay. high. Super high. With the two ropes? Yeah, yeah two super hang would be the two ropes. Okay. So, we're in the hallway, <coughs> hallway right now. We're going to go into one of the cells. We're going to see if we can pick anything up in the cell. Oh. Whose who cell is this? Do you hear that humming? Yeah. Who's here with us? You got awfully quiet. Who's making that humming noise? You don't have anything to say in here? We have a K2 right here. That's a device that we use to communicate with you. If you can, you can touch it and let us know that you're here. Or we have this box right here that you can speak through. We're just here to talk to you. Get your story. Or just talk if that's all you want. Is anybody there? Oh, that I heard a kid scream. I th okay. I heard a kid scream yes. when, when we were talking earlier. Yeah? From inside this room. Well, I heard it coming from the room. I don't know if it came originally or if it was upstairs like we were told the children were upstairs. Okay, I heard that too, so. We were told that women and children were upstairs, which kind of harsh to believe they would uh, keep children in jail. You heard that? Who's ever out in the hallway? Could you come down to this cell? Can you come down here and communicate with us, please? Who's here with us? In me. In me? Are those scratches? <laughs> On the wall? Yeah, they are. Hey, run! Run? We're not gonna run. Do you remember why you were brought to this building? I don't remember his last name. Hughes. I think we could find it on one of these. Maybe. Thomas Dowd? There was a Thomas Dowd. Me. Me. Hello, Thomas. You were talking to us earlier. In the room. Are you in the room with us? 
You know what? What do you need to say, Thomas? Yeah. Somebody's walking upstairs. Yeah, they are. Sounds like they're stomping. If you're upstairs, can you stop again? Could you do me a favor and, and hop twice? Who was that? Who was that up there walking? Whoa! Who's upstairs? Like it came over the spirit box. That was over the spirit box. Yeah. And I heard it. I heard it at the same time. Whoever that was, can you do it again? My name is Thomas as well. If the other Thomases that have been in this building would like to talk to me. Sounded like someone was crying. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. What's this? This is a video camera and this is my phone and we're using it to communicate with you. <laughs> Who am I speaking with? So listen, you guys can come and touch us if you want. Make your presence known to us. Bang a door. Make some noise. I'd like to talk to my buddy, Tom Hutchinson. Hutchings, sorry. Tom Hutchings. Kathy. Hey, yep. hey buddy, how are ya? Are you doing okay? Did you know that I went to the graveyard to visit you a couple times? Come on, Tom. Do something so that we know you're here, buddy. Can you light up the K2 for us? You were lighting that up like a Christmas tree earlier. Somebody was, anyway. Come on, Thomas. Can you light up the K2 again? What cell number did you stay in? If it was cell number two, light the lights up for us, please. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. That's awesome. Who's Janet? I don't know, buddy. Who's Janet? It's me. Who's me? Did you just hear that? What? There was a noise behind you. Let's go into cell number two. Portal. Yeah, I saw a, some sort of something right when you were walking in. He walked right through energy, Mark. He did. Hello. We can feel you here with us. Can you light that back up, please? singing. Who's singing for us? That's a girl. 
Is that you, Liza? Liza, can you make a noise for us if you're here, please? My God, can you ever feel cold? First sponsored. First what? Sponsored. Who's here with us? Name yourself. There's that spirit that is not so friendly. Hello? Eliza. Tom, are you in here with us, bud? Why don't you want to talk to us? We're here. We're here to help tell your story. Come on. I feel like they don't want us here. They don't want to talk to us. So it's soul number. Soul number. Whoa. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Help me. Cell number. Cell number two, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you answer the question? For Eliza. For Eliza? For Eliza. Who is Eliza? Who's the one that says the warden? Says the warden. Wow. So did you not do it? Eliza, are you guilty or not? She was hanged, right? I'm not sure. Eliza, were you hanged? I think we did that. She's not on here. That's going crazy. Sarah's on here. Who was the one that Felicity wanted us to ask about? What was her name? It's like we walked through that door and our mind just went blank. Yep. Hey, listen, turn out the, mar uh, the lights on Mark's forehead there. Turn them out for us. I dare you. Is there someone here by the name of Hugh that would like to talk to us? Hugh, did you, did you set something on fire? And, wow. So it says here that you were on trial are waiting for trial for arson and that you and three other prisoners broke out. Is that true? Yeah. And then you went to Boston, 
but the police were hiding along the shore. Huh. But you were actually, they waited for you in St. John, but you disembarked in East Port, Maine. So you spent 14 years in Dorchester. We've been to Dor Dorchester. It's not a pleasant spot. Are you still here with us, Hugh? You don't want to talk to me. You guys want to talk to me? Who stayed in here? It's light. KT's going crazy. Oh, it's top now. Sounds like someone's clicking a gun. Somebody have a gun? Who has a gun? Uh. I do. cells. You gonna come and talk to us? That was a woman's voice. How are you? You got a blanket? Is there anyone at all here who wants to come forward and, and communicate with us? That's all. Are you done for tonight? I think... What was that? Who are you? Is there anyone here who wants to touch the flame and make it move? Come, Dave. You like tea? And uh, <laughs> and uh, what? You want sugar in it? Some milk? I don't think so. You don't like talking to women? Are you Hello? Hello? Is Emily here? Thomas Hutchings or Thomas Dowd, are you here? You like rum or rye? Yes. You got a wife? Bill. Is that her name? Bill? Bill? You got any kids? Yes. How many? Three. Mm. Did 
you say three? What was your wife's name? Who's touching her leg right now? Thank you for touching it. You can touch that machine and light it up. The closer you get to it, the more it lights. Thank you. You like playing with those lights? Go closer and you'll light it right up. Edward. 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 Is that your name? Is your name Edward? Yeah, thank you, Edward. You like playing with the lights? Edward, how old are you? That's what I understood. You're very young. What was your crime? Why did you come to jail? Did you steal something? Was your last name McDonald? Were you Edward McDonald? Fire. Fire? Did you light a fire? said commitment I don't know what that is it says serve just uh -huh. Edward can you touch the flame? Give it a little flick. Jersey. You can put the flame out if you like. Good job. You know it's hard, it must take a lot of energy. You know it's hard, it must take a lot of energy. You know it's hard, it must take a lot of energy. Can anyone here knock on the table or a door? Lighter? Ask Thomas. What year were you executed? What year were you hanged here? Tell Kathy your story. Not she's she's, she's listening. We'd like to know. Do you recognize Kathy? Thank you. 
did not. I think Kathy is talking about what she feels, and I don't know if it's what is it what Thomas is saying. I don't know either. I can only have here. Someday on the river, Thomas, are you telling Kathy what you remember from the night that Bernice was killed? Wasn't sure. Let her know. You need to tell her your story. She truly believes that you're innocent. And if you're truly innocent, it. tell her what happened. Come on, Tom, speak clear. Monday. Where did you go when you left the dance? Was there anybody with you? That knew you didn't do it. He's showing me them dancing and having a good time and laughing. I hear the word rum. Please. He's dancing with her. I can see him. About the woods all the time actually <laughs> to Sunday emotional um I can see him walking back to where this dance was is dark out and he can see the lights of the building. He's walking back towards it. I really wanted to do. He's walking out of a, enough to pass. He's walking, he's walking out of long, you realize He's walking out of long grass, out of some sort of a trail. And he's drunk. But he's, he's very lighthearted. Is, is what? I'm back at the dance, he says. I'm back there. I left her alive. And I left her alone. She wasn't going home. File. She wasn't going home. And they said their good night, and that was it. He went back to the dance. He wasn't getting anywheres with her, so he he went back to the dance. Black. One o seven. Hanged. Something that's me. Oh, right when you did that, he had just come and stood right in front of me. Do you want me to go back again? He just said, yeah, just give me a second. Yeah. See if I can just, yeah, come back to me, Tom. 60 yards. Oh. He's wrapping his arms around me and giving me a hug. Thank you for being my friend, he says. You're okay. <laughs> He's a very kind, sweet man. Okay. Thomas, your cell was the next cell to us. Kathy is there now. Can you tell us if you were on a boat that sailed from England 
and he's standing stuck in, in Halifax. He's standing in his uniform. Yes, I just heard yes. He's Did you attack a girl in him. Halifax? And I can see him. When you came to New Brunswick, he tells me that he died with as much dignity as he could. You were at a dance where you met I Bernice wasn't the monster they made me out to be. Connors. Somebody murdered her. Was There's it you? Did you hurt want. Bernice Connors? Meant to be. Yes, it is, Tom. It's all meant to be, isn't it? Did you murder her? Our death. Thank you for coming forward, Tom. I think we got what we're going to get. I just heard go home. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Let's fuck out. <laughs>